Hi, um, I thought I'd do a video for musicians and DJs on how to set up a stream. Um, all you do is just type in SOS and it should bring up SOS Streams Corporate Office there. And that's then there. And then you just click Teleport. I'm already there. And if I click Teleport, I'll probably logged off Second Life again. So I won't do that. Now, here's where you buy your stream so that you can play at venues. Um, my cloud here, Robbie Williams, is going to do that for you. What you do is you just click on the stream and uh, on the ven vendor and pay. And what should happen is it will say $400. Yes, pay them that much. And I paid that. Now, in the chat, you'll see over here all this information in the corner is actually f about your stream. What you want to do is somehow, oh, I know, is highlight all that. Let me just bring it up here. Highlight all that. Doesn't matter about the time. Copy it. And then go to make a note card. This is a new note card here. And just paste it into there. Okay, so that gives you all your information. So I'll get rid of that. Now what you want to do with this is you'll find you have your main um, stream here. Um, and then you have what's called the Sentover control panel, which is an, uh, it's like a secondary stream. And the reason for that is if your stream crashes, um, you can use a secondary stream. Okay, so that's the information that you want to give to the, ven the venue. So when they go to play your music, they put that into their radio or whatever they do, and they click on that, and that'll get you sorted. Now for you, what you want to do is you want to go to your player. Um, for me, it's a butt player. And go into your settings and add a new, uh, just as if you're going to a, a club and using their stream, but in this case, you're using your own. So for me, it's, um, I just put Robbie, that's fine. And the address you want to put is um, this one here. Oops. Should be right, and then the eight four two four is your your um, port, and then your password, which I'll copy and paste. Oops. You can't get it wrong. You actually see the password like that if you have the S or the H. That's hide, show, hide, and then you add and press save settings. Now when you have, um, if you look in here, there's your stream. So basically that's ready to go. And when you go to the venue, they'll just click onto this one here, which they should have saved into their radio. And they will, yeah, you click play, they click play and away you go. You've, you've got your music up and running in Second Life. Um, just to also, just a quick note to the side, if you go over here, which you can't see me, but that's fine. It's probably easier for the film, because <laughs> I'm not in the way. You have all the different players. Um, in this case, you, oh, I'll zoom in. You've got the butt player there, how to set a butt encoder. You've got how to set up a Winamp encoder. And, yeah, those two there, I think that's it. Yeah, so you've got the two... Two encoders there if you've got Winamp or if you've got Butt Player. It shows you on here. Basically, it's pretty much the same as what I've shown you. But obviously, each player has its own um, little quirk. So, if you own Winamp and you've done venues before, you'll know how to use Winamp. If you've got Butt Player and you've done venues, you'll know how to use Butt Player. Um, basically, that's it. Everything else on your player should be the same. I've got other videos if you want to look at those. I'll 
put them in the comments below um, if you want to look at how to set up a player and how to set up a mixer. Other than that, we're all done. Okay, thank you. Jimmy! <laughs>